36 years ago today, a historic meeting was held at the Rocklands Community Hall in Mitchell's Plain in Cape Town. It led to the establishment of the United Democratic Front. The Community Hall has now been declared a Western Cape Heritage Site. At this iconic location, the UDF was established in 1983. It was the start of the largest socio-political movement that united South Africans in the fight against apartheid. Former leaders of the UDF attended the event and were reminded of that special day 36 years ago. What was launched here uh, led to an, a mass uprising that is unequaled in modern times. It was of such great significance that uh, people involved in struggles around the world even today wonder how was it done? How was it that an under-resourced, unarmed people were able to sustain year after year this uprising? Dr. Alan Busak, a former patron of the United Democratic Front, feels that very little of the original values and ideals of the UDF remain today. It's very clear to me that we have uh, not only lost so much of the values that the UDF stood for and that inspired millions of people for such a long period of time in fighting against the apartheid regime. We have lost our way uh, politically and morally. Uh, the vision that we have is not just lost, I think, um, perhaps it is, it, is, it is betrayed. The value of the site lies especially in its political and social significance. It brings everyone together because it's, it stands for the United Democratic Front. And the principles of that is still that we must instill in our province. And that's what we're working for. And I really feel it will, will be for the rest of the country. Maria says granting the Rocklands Community Hall a heritage status is important for the continued unity of the people of the province and the country. Linky Birman, SABC News, Cape Town.